Yeah. Okay. No, that's a great question. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I just had a powerlifting meet. Um, I, my, my last deadlift, for example, is 733 pounds, right? At the time, oh, go, going to the nice. meet, I was like, I just want to lift as much weight as humanly possible. Right. So I made a number of compromises in order to do that. Uh, I pared back my conditioning training. So I, I, I raced dirt bikes too. That's like my, oh, cool. Uh, cool. I started, cool. that's where I started. In fact, that's how I got into lifting weights at all. I dislocated my hip when I was 18 and I couldn't walk for three months. And then when I had to start rehabbing, the home PT was like, you need to do squats. And I was like, Oh, okay, cool. And I got into lifting weights and I was like, yeah, this is, this is real fun. So in any case, to be conditioned for that sport, I do quite a bit of conditioning somewhere on the, you know, three hours, four hours a week total, usually on a road bike or a rower, or I'm actually doing some riding, but to get ready for the powerlifting meet, I cut that down into half at first. And then by the last week, I probably did an hour total of conditioning the last week before the meet. If I was trying to live as long as possible, I don't think I, my training would look a lot like getting ready for a powerlifting meet. I would likely still, re I would still resistance train and it could be done with compound lifts, could be done with barbells if that's my, if that's my preference, mm -hmm. but I would aim for improving my cardiorespiratory fitness to a much higher level. Cause again, we know there's this dose dependent relationship between cardiorespiratory fitness and sort of re reduced heart disease risk. And if that's the number one killer in the United States and in adults, maybe worldwide. Okay. I, I, I can see, uh, uh, dedicating or allocating more training time to improving that. So I would just do more cardio, but I would still lift weights. So I would pro likely carry less muscle mass because more of my training resources would be dedicated to improving cardiorespiratory fitness, but I don't know how much less muscle mass. I mean, I'm a, right. I wait, I weighed in at 208 for the meat. Uh, I'd probably weigh, I don't know, 200 to 205 with a higher level of conditioning and maybe be 10% weaker. Right. That, hey, if I keep can keep that, I'm about to, be, I'll, I'm 38, I'll be 40 in a few years. Like if I could keep that through most of my fifth decade into my fifties, uh, man, I'd be a happy guy. So. <laughs>